Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Holly Resnick. Coming up today, Amazon launches hands-free shopping, drones get parachutes, and the Madden curse now hangs over this guy. When the Amazon Echo or Alexa debuted last November, we were immediately impressed by the speaker slash personal assistant's voice control features. Playing music and answering simple questions are easy hat, but you would assume that buying stuff would also be an option since it's Amazon. Well, finally, they've added hands-free shopping, but there is a catch. Currently, it can only be used to reorder items, and it's only available to members of Amazon Prime. So saying, Alexa, reorder paper towels will work, but only assuming that you've already bought paper towels from Amazon and that they're in stock and eligible for Prime. If you've ever crashed a drone yourself, you know the feeling of, oh boy, this is gonna be expensive. But luckily, there's a new project on Kickstarter that might help alleviate this uneasiness. Smart Shoots is a clever new parachute attachment designed specifically for small multi-rotor aircraft. Clip it onto your drone and it'll prevent catastrophic crashes. The system is pretty straightforward. Whenever the system sensors detect that the drone is falling, they automatically deploy a spring-loaded parachute. Smart Shoots is on Kickstarter now and a $130 pledge will get you in line for one. Getting on the cover of Madden should be considered an honor for Odell Beckham Jr. Well, except for the whole Madden curse thing. 18 of the last 19 cover athletes have had troubled seasons following their stint on the cover of the Venerable Football Series. The curse started in 1999 with 49ers running back Garrison Hurst, who broke his ankles soon after being featured on the cover. Most recently, Seahawks cornerback Richard Sherman tore a ligament in his elbow during the NFC Championship game. Beckham Jr beat out more experienced players, Patrick Peterson of the Cardinals, Rob Gronkowski of the Patriots, and Antonio Brown from the Steelers. And they're probably happy to be runners-up this time. That's DT Daily for this week. We'll see you on Monday.